Hey friends, welcome to another adventure in Go Figure Friday. And today I'm going to be a little negative, I think, with my analysis, my review, if you will. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the Jax Bone Crunchers. This is the very first series, and back in 1996 when these came out, I actually bought all of them. And I still have three of them in the box or on card. As you can see, and I'm going to open these up. As Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins I talk about their podcast all the time, I'm going to let these figures breathe. Now, a few years ago, I did that with my Shawn Michaels and, unfortunately, Bret Hart. And this is part of the reason why I'm going to be negative, as well as Gold Dust. Gold Dust has seen better days and actually lost a leg, as the Hitman just did, too. Um, so, yeah, that's my biggest complaint about the Jack Pacific. Uh, figures from that first line. I opened these up because I did a Homer Simpson WrestleMania shoot uh, several years ago, and I took action figures and took a scene from each WrestleMania up to WrestleMania 30 and had them doing different things, and I needed to get into because my collection was mostly, at the time, LJN, so I busted into my jacks that I had bought, again, in 1996, bought them right after they came out. I'm really disappointed with this Bret Hart figure. I'll have to glue him back together. I have another Goldust and Marlena in a box somewhere. I need to, to bust them with them, but... Let's just go ahead. I saved these because, you know, in my mind, one day I was going to resell them. They were going to be valuable, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? You might as well let them breathe, as they say, and do their thing. But obviously, these are the Jack Pacifics. He's staying together. It says bone crunching, and I'm probably not doing something right, but I really don't want to break these either. So this is Razor Ramon. And, of course, at the time, Razor Ramon and this guy... Diesel, Kevin Nash, had just left WWF when I got these figures. I got them in uh, the summer of 96. They had just left, went to WCW, and they were, of course, the NWO. Now, again, not a whole lot of size difference in the figures. Let's throw Sean in here, too. Yeah, they're all pretty comparable. Um, I mean, they're posable, which is different from the uh, LJNs, obviously, and, and the Hasbros are a little bit more... But they're very, and I don't know if it's because they're old and have been in, in storage, but they're they're kind of loosey-goosey here. Um, and then last but not least, let's get the dead man into this equation too. And I, I have another Undertaker somewhere, um, and he comes with the hat. So this is 1996 purple Undertaker, and the hat just fell off. But that's my collection, um, very early on of the Jax guys. Again, not overly impressed with this series because, you know, Brett is in pieces. And uh, if my wife sees this, she's going to make me throw it away. But I'll uh, I'll put them back together before she gets up here and, and checks it out. So, anyway, that is my analysis of the Jax first line, very first line of WWF superstars back from the summer of 96. So let me know what you're collecting, what you've got going on, and what you'd like to see here on Go Figure Friday. Have a great day, everyone.